will have an economy the likes of which we've never had before, better than last year. You had your best year ever last year. This is going to be better. And you see where we're going. It's a super big. It's a super big. Since the China virus arrived, we've airlifted amounts of material, the likes of which nobody has done since the Second World War. It's one of the greatest ever. Nobody has done since the Second World War. We pioneered groundbreaking therapies, reduced the, and I'm telling you, we're down 85%. Think of that. Think of that. Down 85%. Nobody has any idea what that means, and that's all been done within a short period of time. And you know, I say it. Uh, so I had it. My wife had it. Our great first lady. Does everybody like our first lady? She, she made a speech yesterday in Pennsylvania, and they loved her. She made a speech. She's a very elegant woman. She gets hit almost as hard as I do. They go after her. And she's cool, you know, she's very cool. She goes, oh, that's okay, no problem. Me, I want to go get them, I want to go. She goes, that's no problem, that's no problem. She's got a very extreme confidence somehow, you know, she just, that's okay, it's all right. She says, that's their problem, not my problem. How cool is that, right? But she did a great job, she got actually a great view. She made a speech in Pennsylvania, and it was fantastic. She's a great first lady, she really, uh, loves you, she loves our country. But she had it, she got better. I had it, I got better. But Baron had it, Baron. Baron is my young son who happens to be very tall. He's tall. Hi, Baron, how you doing? Baron's 14. When you're six foot five and you're 14, that's pretty tall. Right? I walk out of the helicopter with Baron. Hi, Baron, are you having a good time? But he's strong and he goes like the doctor, Sean, he's a great doctor. He goes, he's the White House doctor. Sir, Baron has tested positive, sir. I'm sorry to inform you. I say, oh, that's bad. What does that mean? Positive for what? He goes, for COVID. Or, you know, we have about 30 names. China virus, the plague, whatever you want to call it. The plague from China, we have to be accurate. Baron has tested positive. And I said, that's too bad. Like two minutes later, I said, how's Baron doing? Oh, it's okay, it's all gone. 99.9%, .9%, right? You know, they have strong immune systems. Much stronger than our immune system. Much, much stronger. I'm working to make the breakthrough treatment that I received, and what we're gonna do is we're making it, because I had a thing called Regeneron. We're gonna make it available to anybody that needs it free, free. And I do suggest it. Now, I don't know if it helped me or is it just the power? You know, I made a statement. I made a statement and they took it very seriously. CNN, fake news, total fake news. And I got better very quickly and I said, well, I should because I'm a perfect physical specimen and I'm very young. They went crazy. He's, he is not young and he is not a perfect specimen. They went crazy. They went crazy. They, they have no sense of humor whatsoever, do they? Huh? Thanks to our relentless efforts, 97% of all emergency room visits, 97% are for something other than the virus. Think of that. Because we understand it now. We understand it. People are getting better. And you know you're immune. That's why I could jump right there. See those men? I'll kiss the men. I'm not into that, but I will kiss every man there and kiss every woman there, if you don't mind also. They won't catch anything, and you know what? I won't catch, because they say, and until I came along, right, they said, if you have it, you get better. You're immune for life. But when I said, I had it, I got better, they said, you've only got four months. They've changed the whole medical standard. If it was anybody else, it was good for life, right? But with me, they said, I'm now good for four months. Now, I think it's a much longer period, but who the hell knows? We'll, we'll know soon enough. We're on track to deliver 100 million doses of a really great, safe vaccine. And we have some of the greatest companies in the world. They're right at the doorstep. And if I weren't president, if you had Sleepy Joe as your president, it would have taken you four years to have a vaccine. You would have never had a vaccine. What we did with the FDA, they said, sir, we'll need approximately two years. I said, how about one week? 
We moved, we moved up the schedule, and yet very, very safe. We will vanquish the virus and emerge stronger than ever before. Our country will be stronger than ever before. And what I did only because of you and the double state with the double treatment, we spent a lot of money. We now have a new little thing. We have a big board that shows different things. And here's some of the governors talking about the incredible job we did on COVID or the China virus. Take a look. The fact is, every time I've uh, called the president, he's quickly gotten on the line. When we asked to get support for that mercy ship in Southern California, he was able to direct that in real time. What the federal government did working with states was a phenomenal accomplishment. Uh, we got 2,000 of these field, field uh, medical sites uh, that are up almost all operational now in the state uh, because of his support. And those are the facts. Uh, uh, his team has been on it. I know a team when they're on it, and I know a team when they're not on it. His team is on it. They've been responsive late at night, early in the morning. We are working very well with FEMA Region 2 and with the Army Corps of Engineers building four field hospitals. Uh, that was a decision the president himself took, and I'm grateful for it. These were just extraordinary efforts and acts of mobilization. And uh, the federal government stepped up. Uh, we needed help, and they were there. He said everything uh, that I could have hoped for. Uh, and we had a very long conversation. Uh, and every single thing he said, they followed through on. We've got to have double the number of ventilators that we requested for that area of the state. And in fact, uh, we got them in, frankly, short order. Have we lost anyone because we didn't have a bed or we didn't have a ventilator or we didn't have health care staff? No. The president was extending support for new swabs. So uh, conversation, commitment, uh, promise made, promise kept. Now, to be fair, maybe Biden's not telling us because he's forgotten his own plans. Watch Biden's staff quickly swoop in to shuffle him along during a quickie escape the basement trip to Pennsylvania. Here's the deal. One of the things that, that, that is important is that um, keep in mind, although they're going to vote on uh, uh, Barrett, I think today. That was terrifying. What kind of country we're going to be? Four more years of George, uh, George, uh, he uh, is going to find ourselves in a position where, if uh, Trump gets elected, uh, we're going to be uh, we're going to be in a different world. Fifty-six percent of Americans said that they were better off today than they were four years ago. Would have been under the Obama Biden administration. So why should people who feel that they are better off today? under the Trump administration, vote for you? Well, if they think that, they probably shouldn't. They think 54% of American people are better off economically today than they were in our administration. Well, their memory is not very good, quite frankly. A few moments later. I'm running as a proud Democrat for the Senate. So vote, vote. Visit IWill.com slash Ohio. I got in trouble when we were running against the senator who is a Mormon, uh, the governor, okay? Well, their memory is not very good, quite frankly. Can't do it. Can't do it. You know, we have a great, great country, but we have a country with tremendous potential, a country that could be greater than ever before. We can't do this to ourselves. We can't. And I personally don't think he's a nice person, but that's okay. I don't think he's a nice guy. If he was a nice guy, I probably wouldn't have put those clips up. But those clips are just a few of many, many, many clips. And this happened over the last couple of days. You can't do it. For instance, if he were here with you today, he'd say, I want to thank the people of Ohio for being with us. No, he's done that seven different times. And once you do that, it's over. 
You just walk off the stage, you could never make a good speech after that. Nobody's going to go home and say, that was a great speech, except for the fact that he called us the wrong state. <laughs> Joe Biden has surrendered his party to the rage-filled socialists, Marxists, and left-wing extremists. And that's what you're going to have, and you can't let it happen. The Democrats have spent the entire year inciting violence, hatred, and hatred against our police, our police. Without our police, we have very little. Last night, the city of Philadelphia was ransacked by violent mobs, and Biden supported people. These were all Biden supported people. And he wouldn't even call them out. This morning, they said, please call them out. He doesn't want to get involved because he doesn't want to lose the radical left. 